Hey folks, thanks for watching. This is Gerard Hoda Culture Culture, and we got a special unboxing from a fellow YouTuber uh, by the name of Millennial Planner. I was watching one of her videos recently that she got a Anthurium Viechi or Viechi or something like that, and I knew it was one of the plants that were on my wish list plant, so I contacted her to see if she had more or see if she could run over to the nursery where she got it from in Atlanta and uh, come to find out she didn't have or the nursery didn't have any more of the VHIs at that size so she was graceful enough or she was just that type of person to give me or send me the second VHI that she had and we did a plant swap and I dearly didn't know what to give her because um, I was watching her channel and I watch everybody's channel. I'm trying to see what she has. I would hate to give her a duplicate plant that she already has because more of the same plant. I don't know how you guys feel about getting more of the same plant, you know, with the space that we all are dealing with. I know I would not like, you know, I wouldn't prefer to have somebody send me the same plant that I already have. Unless it was like a Monstera Thai constellation or an Albo or um, one of those rare plants that are over like $100 or something like Nested. that. But um, Vietchai in its mature form is well over probably $100. But this one is immature form that you can't really see the ripples yet, but they're on their way. Here is an unboxing of how she packed the plant which was awesome and once again I didn't know what she had so I kind of had to binge watch all of her videos just to make sure I'm not giving her a plant that she already has that she would have to make room for on her plant stand because uh, I know how it is with me it's kind of we all kind of have the same issues with with space we're all limited um, so I was lucky enough to find out what she didn't have. Check out her channel to see what I sent her. I'll put the link in the comment section below to her channel. Awesome, awesome person. So check it out. But this, I, I couldn't wait to pot it up. This is the, the Anthurium VHI. And I was a little bit skeptical about getting an Anthurium. Even though it's an Aroid, I was just little shaky on my skills as for plant keeping for anthurium just knowing that they need some little bit specific care but this one i was reading from an online grower that the vhi actually likes like a roomy soil doesn't like to be pot bound um the more pot bound it is uh the slower it will grow um likes moist soil um bright and direct light organic matter and uh semi airy mix but let's see what google has to say about the anthurium vhi hey google how do you take care of a anthurium vhi here is some information from the web that might possibly help on the website theflowerexpert.com they say anthurium's plant care Remove dead and unsightly foliage and faded or brown flowers. Use a peat moss base. Peat Anthuriums moss. need a high light but not direct sunlight. Water your anthurium thoroughly, but allow it to dry slightly between waterings. Alright, so that was a little brief. A little brief uh, how-to. Um, I have no experience with anthuriums right now, so listening to me and were asking me about anthurium care <laughs> you probably don't want to do that but uh i want to take you with my journey and i'm sure she'll take you with her journey on her vhi and i'm sure there's a bunch of other people with vhis i think the origin of the vhi is uh, south america i could be wrong don't quote me on that and uh what else it's it's a it, I think the leaves grow about five foot long and they have these unique patterns of ripples that uh, are very eye catching 
for any type of garden, indoor or outdoor. Uh, I was also reading that the temperature range is between 55 to 85 degrees, I believe. And uh, once again, it likes uh, like a well-draining mix, but um, likes a little bit of, like to be on the, the moist side. Now, I don't want to cut this video too short with the, the unboxing, but I want to give you a short plant haul of the plants that I have up here in my money room, which we make money in this room. That's why I'm shooting the video in this room. But I'll give you a tour of what's going on behind me and all around me. So keep watching. All right, for starters, this is my huge Burl Max, Burl Marks. I keep saying Burl Max. Um, I moved it up here. Got a couple yellowing leaves. Probably need some watering, but I still try to take care um, of the plant as much as possible. Got some sap coming out there. It's weird. That's really weird. It was kind of sticky, but that sap from the Burl Max, Burl Marks plant. And to the right over here, I have a Sayori Sansevieria that uh, I um, took a couple div divine divisions of it. Awesome looking plant. I just couldn't pass it up. And I got that from my local garden store. Um, down here, I have a Xanadu Philodendron. And also got that from a local garden store, dirt, dirt cheap. I think I got it for about five bucks. I couldn't pass it up based on the size. Um, I still have a Calathea, which is holding on. You know, even though it's water requirements or I don't know what to say. It just just needs a lot of water. But I still got that over there. Is a uh, cylindrical. Uh, Santa Varia. Then I got some Lucky Bamboo and some water, which I root in some water. Also have some cuttings of a Cebu Blue and a Swiss Cheese Monstera, and they're also rooting. And we're gonna go a little bit higher to the top. I got my dog tail cactus, which is doing great up here under these red and blue lights, which I'm going to change out. I'm just tired of the red and blue. It just doesn't look appealing, and I don't know. I'm, I'm going to probably change these out to a natural light, even though this is doing justice, because put this up here in my, my desert rose that didn't was dormant for a while. It started to uh, grow some leaves, so I was happy about that. My uh, cutting of a... Uh, ZZ plant, which has still been the same for a while, but it's starting to warm up. My silver dollar, I'm just going to call it a plant, silver dollar. Uh, I don't think it's a Hoya. Um, I, I, it's a succulent. Silver dollar Hoya is doing great up here. Got some smaller jades. You got that guy. I kind of forgot what the name of it was. And up top, I got my Marlothi. And a fire stick cactus, not fire stick, uh, forgot what that was. Jeez, sorry about that one. Then over here, I still don't know what that is. And another cylindrical Sansevieria that's been actually growing pretty well with when up here in these lights. Shrek Franger Jade's going well. I think you've, if you've been watching me, you've been seeing the progress of that pretty much hanging on. Over here, I've tossed one of my begonias up here. Um, not much to say about that, but it's going back after an eight foot attack, which I'm happy about. And I got my Cebu Blue, along with my Fire Stick Cactus that I can't wait to put outside when it gets a little bit warmer. Now on this table, uh, I got a bunch of plants. We'll start from here. Um, got my, what is that, ivy, 
forgot what one English, not an English ivy, I forgot which ivy it is. And then over there I got a little dwarf banana tree waiting to get outside and get planted. Then next I got a fiddly fig. And over here I got the uh, couple of uh, agaves. Manhula pothos, cactus, um, hybrid, fire stick cactus, a Deffenbachia, and up top there, birds of paradise. Back there, got some uh, a red euphorbia, and a cactus, and a more jades over there, and then another arrangement there, baseball bat, Sansevieria. And that's what's going on over there. I got a hope philodendron that I had just cut back because it just died back after I brought it inside. That uh, Deffenbachy is doing horrible. I've just been neglecting it, and it's, I don't know, something's, there's like a conflict between me and it. But we're going to see what we can do about that later when temperature gets a little better. So that's pretty much it guys. Thanks for watching. That's my upstairs plant room. Um, please send positive vibes for my Vietchai. And thank you once again Millennial Planner for what you did. I will never forget that. And I will keep you all updated on the progress. And don't forget to stop over at Millennial Planner's channel. Hit that like and subscribe button. And keep growing.